What's new in episode 5? It is September 17, 2020. Capo's here with some episode 5 news. This came out just yesterday as I try to keep up with everything that comes out. Starting on the 30th of September, we will finally get episode 5 content for all those people who keep complaining about episode 5 not being here yet. It's what's new? What are, what are they going to do? What kind of changes are going to be here for episode 5? Player level cap increased to 90. If you haven't got 80 yet, like Cowbell, you're going to be way behind. New arcs mission, new seasonal events. Of course, new seasonal events, just because it's new. It's just that time of the year. By the time this comes out, October. It's on September 30th. What's after September 30th? October. New alliance quarters, which is always nice. New exciting titles to earn. New collection folder, which is also going to be real nice. New quest types. New arenas to explore. New S-grade augments. I don't know what those are. Ability to transfer those S-grade augments. And finally, finally, which people keep complaining about, which I was kind of hoping that we would get to, because I don't know too much about this game, because I, I'm i only right here with you. I've only played global. I don't know anything about uh, JP. But we're supposed to get uh, left ring skill units, left ring skills, in set into 12 star units in episode 4 when that came out and we didn't there is a new story after lending aid to those on earth arcs discover a mysterious he created portal that leads to another dimension i haven't played episode 4 yet but i'm pretty sure isn't that another dimension called omega this world seems driven purely by fantasy or fantasy a world of swords and magic instead of technology and science two worlds are in direct contrast with each other and as the story progresses the player will frequently move between them while observing the strange similarities these will share simultaneously a mysterious woman calls herself alma appears and she seems to have information about omega and strangely about the arcs they are bringing in the new scion class hero a new type of class has come to fleet oracle the hero class Heroes are trained in the use of several weapons, including swords, twin machine guns, and taluses. But this class wouldn't be the powerhouse it is if the hero wielding these weapons in the style of other classes. No, their methods are unique amongst classes in that twin machine guns are suitable for range combat and can grant PP recovery, photon point recovery mid-fight. Taluses grant the hero the ability to move to predetermined locations. At high speed, basically you throw that to teleport. And swords decimate packs of enemies with a wide range attack. Perhaps most interestingly, heroes possess specific photon arts that allow them to quickly change between the three weapon types while in combat, making the hero a self-reliant whirlwind of destruction that can adapt to changing situations on the battlefield with ease. Got a trick flash photon art for the heroes, executes a high speed thrust, holding the button will swap to your talus and unleash a follow up strike. A jet wheel, if talus photon art for the hero, de deploys a shuriken which spins about slicing up targets. The shuriken remains active even if you swap to another hero weapon. Starfire Squall, the twin machine gun photon art of heroes. Pelt enemies with a one-handed barrage of fire, performing this photon art after dodging an attack will increase the damage. And then they're also bringing in Arc Blast. I talked a little bit about this in the content roadmap from a good long time ago. Basically, all this uh, Dark Falls accumulated evil that I guess a player gets over time allows them to turn into a, a, a Dark Falls of their own. This needs it's this has its own levels and XP that it gets that you unlock new abilities. Some of the abilities are a, a dark barrier, which raises a large photon wall in front of you and draws the enemies to attack that. An ultimate impact, which increases your damage by channeling photon energy into your arms. And then of course HP up, which just boosts your max HP. There's additional dark blasts which extend normal attack combos. Extend normal attack combo half at extra stages to your normal attack, such as a fourth attack. All right. Bloody heal recovers HP for you and your allies around you. Physical dash. Dash at high speed limits. High speed for a limited time. And of course, special dark photon arts. Punishment knuckles unleashes a devastating punch after charging. 
charging results in greatly enhanced attack power. So powerful that demon bulwarks in Buster Quest take only one punch of strike. I don't know what that is. I, I think the Buster Quests are part of Episode 5 stuff. <clears throat> uh, this is kind of like the um, fused techniques where, you, you know, you got to gain fused techniques and mags, actually, where they got to charge up before you can use it. The difference is this is only available to be used once during each quest. And then they got this world divided uh, Omega. So Omega is the new planet in the game and there's four different stages for it uh quinto a land of nature and magic but also a land embroiled in civil war between those of the side of righteousness and the revolution army and those who back the pretender to the throne who seeks personal gain through any means necessary this includes the consumption of ephemera to fuel a unquenchable thirst for power and obstinately ignoring the maddening effect it ever has on the user. Absolute power corrupts absolutely, after all. Wayland, a land of parched plains and billowing dust. The wind, as it whittles the landscape, also whittles the people who reside there, molding them into volatile, combative, hardened warriors who are also experiencing civil rights, having attained his position through combat with all would oppose them their emperor is not content to rule with peace but would rather continue to challenge any he deems as worthy adversaries some would say this continuation continual thirst for needless bloodshed borders on madness hmm. epic a land of extremes in both its geology and people the terrain vacillates between lush oasis and barren dunes while the people and their queen are Mercurial in temperament and passionate by nature, the Queen of Epic craves excitement at her sand-filled days and may look to current events together. He is a Tira. It's a forest-dotted woodland with green rolling hills and ocean breezes that invite visitors and residents alike to savor peace and tranquility, making it a popular destination for those wishing to relax. Their newly ascended symbol wishes the same, but the demand of governing weighs heavy on his young shoulders, and he has become resigned to his administrative future. We get the uh, new enemies, the Supernaturals. They are a new foe of Arcs, the Arcs operatives, and are created by way of sorcery summons, catalyst by Ephemera. By Ephemera, our research thus far show that in general the group does not seem to have any kind of shared weakness and instead seem to have weaknesses dependent on their individual characteristics operators have encountered the omega wolf for sorcerers in resta golem so far resta golems new type of quest buster quest perhaps the most formidable of supernaturals the castrum demonica demonica is a fortification capable of summoning an endless wave of creatures in demonic arms such as Modern artillery and Femera cores demon artillery through the Castrum Demonica are greatly feared. It has been shown that the Guardians are able to control a siege weapon called the Buster Tower. This will potentially change the fate of Omega as those who seek to do good by restoring the land to a peace known before the appearance of Femera can now take a stand against those who seek domination. Features of the Buster Quest. You got uh, a team of eight operatives. You will alternate between the defense phase and the Buster phase. The defense phase requires defending your siege bases, known as Buster Towers, from enemies. Buster phases entail attacking the front line and protecting Buster piles, weaponry needed to assault the walls of the Castrum Demonica. Mana collected from this field, just like the crystals and mining base, I assume, is used from a variety of large scale arch weaponry and support abilities. As your number of clip buster quests grows, your grade increases. A higher grade means better rewards. Nice. I hope that doesn't like change every week, like like the uh, advanced quests, uh, resets. I mean, in general, you be mar you be matched with operatives who have a similar grade. Oh, that's good too. And please boosters. So you got the Demonia Saber, if Lydia Handler Adder. Nicholas Dineris. 
I don't know which is the handle of the sword, because that doesn't look like it's safe to hold anywhere. <laughs> Western metal exchanges. So just like the previous ones, you get uh, metals here too. You get uh, the 60 cases boosters. Uh, you give things to, to, to zig there. It'll change the weapon. Okay, that looks more like a handle. I mean, like, I mean, because look at that right there. It doesn't look like a handle at all. And then there's Rising Weapon Badge 4. Your Judas weapons. Knuckles. She's right there. So that's all just like in the back. You'd think that would be more of the fist. And a nice harmonizer. I still just got basic harmonizers. <laughs> well, that's all your episode 5 stuff right there. And, uh, there you go. That's all your nice episode 5 stuff coming up after the 30th of September. A medieval style stage. You get dark blast abilities and access to cyan class hero. Oh, and level 90. All kinds of good stuff. And that's going to be it for your episode 5 news. They got all kinds of stuff coming out in two weeks on the 30th of September. So October is going to be great. All kinds of great things are coming out. All kinds of new stuff. Finally, we get to put rings in our units, our 12-star units. Finally, we'll get to level 90 cap. We had our first hero class, our first science class, or whatever they're called. Our for for first extra class. And then, of course, Dark Blast. Which is funny, because... I don't hear much about Dark Blast, but I hear all about the Hero Class. I think Dark Blast is more fun. If you guys have yourselves a good uh, day, make sure you check out my Scratch tickets, showcase videos, which shows off all the items in each Scratch ticket, the uh, various colors and, 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 and styles, because they don't always show everything on the website. And also the fun Scratch ticket if you want to you know, take a quick look at uh, what furniture comes out, or music, and uh, fun Scratch items. Please have yourselves a great day and take care of.